Welcome back to the Lemmix, Lemmix with Gimmix levels of a commentary video series. And today we are going to be continuing with more of the Bedlam rank. So, first up is Bedlam 11, ADHD. This Lemming is particular, particularly impatient. He can't focus on anything more than a couple of seconds. Okay. So, I believe if I... If I remember correctly, there is some uh, Super Lemming and also Frenzy as well, which means I would not be able to pause here while explaining the solution. Ah, uh, yes, that was correct. So, let me go ahead and restart. So, dig down, build to stop him, and then platform across. Bash. Mine. And then float down, and then swim across. So, this is the Lazy Lemmings gimmick. Yeah, when they stop after a couple of ricks. Yeah. And then we just simply pop him up the gap. And then give him a climber. Or no, build to turn around and then give him a climber. And that's it. So, yes, um, I honestly didn't find this one too bad at all. Um, it's just the, um, the beginning is the hardest part since um, you need to be pretty quick. But other than that, yeah, this level is not too hard at all. Alrighty. Um, Bethlehem 12. Minus times minus. Yeah, which equals a positive. And this seems pretty familiar. Um, it might have been a level in maybe a Giga Limbs pack, but I don't remember where I found that level with a very similar title. Now guess what happens when you combine the Twisted with the Whimsical rank. Okay, so now this one I believe... Yeah, so Twisted, that's the... Um, Rank that featured the uh, walking backwards um, gimmick. Uh, while the um, uh, Wimsco is where uh, it's basically turn on the sign uh, gimmick. So if I'm not mistaken, these are the two gimmicks that will be active here. And here it's a one of everything, as you can see. And yes, we have the pause uh, ability back here. Alrighty. So first time out will bomb. Yes. So here, I give him a climber to turn um, and face the left. And then, go ahead and platform. Yeah. And then, basically, when assigned the platform, he, he will turn back to the right. So that's why you see him platforming to the right. So yes, it is basically back, walking backwards and also um, turn on the sign. So give him a digger. Now he's facing to the left. And then... Here, we're going to have him turn around first, and then assign him a voucher, the platform that is. Okay, and then I think it's just mining the crowd out later. Alrighty, and then bridge across this gap with the builder. And then, I guess with the final lemming, yeah, I mined the crowd out. And then, yeah, this builder will start walking backwards now. And then, we simply put a stack here, so that nobody can slip out to the water. Okay, and that is already it. Very, very nice level here. I really like this one. Yeah, and we um, went one over the requirement, too. Alrighty, uh, Bedlam 13, Moonwalk Volume 2. The Cosmic Rank didn't feature any L2 space levels, because I only got the graphics set to work so late in development. But here you have the real thing. This level combines the Cosmic with the Twisted Rank. Okay, so um, so again, this is the Walking Backwards and also um, No Gravity gimmicks um, together. So, hence the title of the um, level here, with the Moonwalking. Alrighty, so, we're going to go ahead and dig here, okay, and then once this dummy turns around in the, uh, on this wall here, then we're going to go ahead and mine. Alrighty, and then, yeah, around here, we're going to go ahead and stop the miner with a platformer. And then we're going to go ahead and bash it to the right. Okay, and I believe that's already it to get to the exit. And then finally... Um... I bashed this, um... 
uh, what do you call it? Uh, the trap lemming in here. Um, to the left, and that's it. So, I have a digger left over here. Yippee! Pretty interesting Yippee! logo. Alrighty, uh, Bedlam 14. Have your cake and eat it. What if I told you a lemon can go through sugared matter and leave it entirely intact? In fact, nothing you, nothing you do on this level will have any impact on this delicious work of art whatsoever. Yeah, I don't exactly remember the name of this gimmick, but um, it's basically where um, uh, destructive skills will still work uh, on the terrain, but the lemon will still... Um, but basically, the terrain will still be left intact. Yeah, in other words, uh, yeah, there won't be any, like, for example, basher tunnel or minor tunnels uh, left. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and build. Yeah, and then similarly, uh, builders do not leave any builder bricks behind. And then we're gonna go ahead and block here. So, so that only the builder goes on ahead. No one else can follow him. Him. And then, yeah, he drops down because there's no um, builder bricks for him to stand on. And then we're gonna go ahead and bash. So this is what we mean. Yeah, so we can still bash through this. Yeah, as if the um, the train is there. But um, yeah, he does not leave a basher tunnel behind him. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and collect this climber pickup. Alrighty, and then we're gonna go ahead and platform across. And then again, same thing, yeah. The platformer does not leave any um, platformer bricks behind. Okay, we collect another climber pickup, and also a glider pickup. And then, we're gonna go ahead and send up a, another worker lemming. And then we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and give him a climber. Yeah, he's gonna drop down and start climbing up. And then, we get all these glider pickups. So, two, four, six, seven of them. And then two, four, six more climber pickups. Yeah, so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be stoning the um, locker. Yeah, and we also need to give him a glider so that he survives the fall. He'll just go to the exit. So there you go. Yeah, now we stone the blocker. Uh, yes. So the stoner does not leave any terrain behind either. Uh, the rest of these guys will simply get gliders and, um, and, um, climbers, and that's it. Yeah, because basically, um, because the basher tunnel is not left, yeah, nobody can follow the, um, worker lemmy that just bashed through it. So therefore, the only way they can go to the exit is by climbing up to the top. Yeah, just simply gliding to the exit, like that. So very, very nice level here. Yeah, if not a bit unintuitive at times, but um, it is a pretty interesting gimmick to work with, though. And certainly one that can result in pretty good puzzles, if done well. Alright, Bedlam 15. Mirror, mirror. Ah, yes. This low escaped from the sanitarium. Watch out. It suffers from dissociative lemming disorder. Okay, I don't exactly remember the um, gimmick that's active here. Okay, so we had two entrances. Yeah, and I don't remember which side I started with here. Okay, so I mined here. Okay, everybody else just walks up here. Okay, these guys are coming up as well. So, platform up this gap. Okay, and then let me do this frame by frame. Assign him a climber, and then uh, give him a swimmer. Um, hold on. So, climber, swimmer. Yes. So pretty much the crowds are contained by the low side and also the ceiling. Okay, these swimmers should definitely come back up here. Okay, and then uh, we give this let me a climber. So yes, so the gimmick here is that any skill that you assign, uh, it will clone the lemming. 
Yeah, so I totally forgot about that here. And basically, yeah, because the pretext didn't exactly spell it out, it's just one of those things that you kind of had to deduce. I think I was, I think I remember being a bit confused about what was meant by dissociative uh, disorder, but um, yeah, now that I'm seeing the solution again, yeah, now I know. So platform, yeah, and as you can see, creates a clone. Yeah, and then we give him a swimmer. Yeah, because right after he's already a climber, so therefore, now, now they become athletes. And yes, uh, in very early Neo Lemmix versions, they cannot swim out at the bottom of the um, level. Yeah, in newer versions they do. Yeah, in, in new formats, Neo Lemmix. Okay, and then he's going to climb up. And then we're going to go ahead and mine. Yeah, so now we have a miner going to the right. And then, uh, yeah, I mine again. So it creates a clone going to the left as well to mine. Okay, and then here, I'm going to go ahead and mine. And increase a clone go going to the right as well, who is also mining. And then, yeah, I quickly stop the uh, right, right facing miner with a builder. Okay, and then, let's see. Okay, I start building with someone. Yeah, so the one, the, the builder that was going to the left, yeah, he's up here now. So we go ahead and build so that we can get to the next. Yes. And as you can see, it creates a clone. Oh, and did I happen to assign something else as well? Yeah, so a basher. Yeah, basher right here. Yeah, I think it's just simply bashing the crowds out now. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So yes, I certainly remember this level being pretty difficult. Wait, hold on. So, sign a clone of uh, glider and then another one, I think. Glider, glider, and a swimmer. Yeah, and then a basher. Yeah, basically to create clones to in order to um, increase the number of lemmings to beat the same requirement. And that's it. But yes, I certainly remember this one pretty being pretty hard. It's a pretty nice puzzle though. But I remember it being pretty pretty hard. Alrighty, Bedlam 16, Vengeful Rebirth. Looks like these lemmings uh, aren't too happy about you trying to kill them. Okay, so based on the um, pretext, I'm going to guess that this features the Kuroshi gimmick, where you have to kill the lemmings instead. Okay, so I stone. Oh yes, so this features a um, um, zombie on death gimmick here. Wait, did I? No, I did not do anything. So I just stoned it and created a zombie. Then I go ahead and build. Yeah, some will go spy in the meantime. Alright, and then I go ahead and build again here. Okay, and then... Then, I bomb this builder after a couple of bricks. Yeah, and I believe that's really it. That's a lot of dead lemmings. Disney would be proud of you. So yes, um, it's, it's probably one like huge background consider I didn't even go, use the very far right of the um, level here. Alrighty, Bedlam 17, The Void. I left this one entirely blank, so you can create your own level. But don't worry, I made all the borders solid so that the lemmings can't escape while you're experimenting. Let's go! 
Alright, so first time he gets a climber, then the next one as well. And then the first one also gets a glider. Okay, stone him. Yeah. And then next one gets a glider after falling for a bit, and then gets stoned as well. Okay, let's send up another climber. Okay, gets a glider. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and platform all the way to the exit. Yeah, so it takes four of them. And then now everyone just simply gets a climber and a glider, and that's it. Alrighty, uh, Bethlehem 18, Hive Mind. You know these myths about lemmings always mindlessly following their peers, right? These guys here take it to an entirely new level. They'll execute every skill in absolute synchrony. Impossible, that is. So basically, uh, this level feature is an entirely new gimmick that has not been seen yet. Uh, basically, uh, if you assign one lemming a skill, then... Other lemmings that are also in the low will also um, perform the skill as well. Let's go. And yes, though this may be... Uh, though the gimmick makes the low pretty difficult, I also have to say, this is a pretty good one. I really like this one. So, first lemming was stone. Oh, um, I also increased the release rate at this point. So, up to 5, and then 10. So, no, I think I just wanted to put it to 10. So, stack, and then I dropped the release rate back down to 1. Okay, and then on top of the stop, we're gonna go ahead and platform. Okay, and then I max out the release rate here. Okay, and then. Again, hold on a second. Yeah, the second lemming that's going to the right, a climber. So that means everybody else also gets a climber skill. And I would simply say, in this level, the hardest part was certainly the beginning here. Yeah, it was not that obvious to uh, how it would be um, done. Oh yes, and I should also mention that the... Yeah, so let me, that's my bad. Let me go ahead and rewind this. So here, yeah, even though he is platforming, yeah, as you can see, no other lemming is performing a platformer skill because they are not able to. Yeah, because in Neo Lemmings, you cannot platform a flat ground. So that's why he is the only one platforming. Yes, and then we're just gonna go ahead and go back to where we were before. So send up a climber, everybody becomes a climber now. Okay, and then. Yes, and then we're gonna go ahead and build. So, yeah, I had a couple of building to the right, and then everyone else is building to the left. So yes, give a lemming a builder, and everybody will also build as well. And yeah, this will certainly be one of the hardest parts as well, since you need to build in such a way so that nobody gets trapped uh, between the builder um, staircases. Okay, and then I think another tricky one here as well. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and mine over here. Yeah, so in this way, the uh, miners going to the left will cancel out the miners going to the right. Yes, unfortunately, this is low enough. And it finally we bash uh, to the right to get to the exit, and that's it. Yes, I definitely remember this one being a really, really good one. I was definitely amazed at the really good puzzle here uh, with the uh, special gimmick here that hasn't been seen. Alrighty, Bedlam 19, Lem Norris. Uh, I guess now it's time for you to try and defeat a Lemminga. Um, uh, this Lemming combines the Eternal with the Suicidal rank.
So clearly yeah. the double title is a reference to Chuck Norris, but um, I don't know too much about him, interestingly enough. Okay, so this lemming is a pre-assigned climber, swimmer, glider, and disarmor hat. Uh, lemming. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build so that he turns around. Otherwise, he's gonna go up and be trapped around here. Okay, he will disarm this, um, the orb traps here. Okay, bomb. So that he bounces off and then starts swimming the other way, to the right. So, dig down here. And then we're gonna go ahead and bash. Because I think otherwise he's just gonna be trapped up here. Yeah, along with the, um, um, solid ceiling. Okay, climb up. Disarm the Ghostbuster trap. Okay, bomb. So that he turns around. Okay. And then we mine, and then that's pretty much it already. Yes, so he gets stoned here. Because we are, uh, dropping to the bottom of this pit does not count as killing. So yes. So even with all the toughness that he has in have inherited with all the uh, pre-assigned skills, yeah, we finally got to kill him due to the um, slow freeze. <laughs> Tough luck there. Alrighty, and the final level for this video, Bedlam 20, against the current. This level combines the moist with the circular rank. Okay, so, uh, rising water and wrap. Okay, so one of everything except for builders will be a ton. Okay, so first let me we'll build. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and bash, and then bomb the staircase away. So only the basher goes on ahead. And yes, it applies to the water as well. I think the water that's up here, it rises enough to appear at the bottom too. Can we give him a swimmer? Yeah, so I think this just simply takes a while. So it's just gonna be a lot of time skipping here. Okay. So right here, now this is where it finally gets high enough for the lemming to step out with the swimmer does. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and stack here. Okay, build. Okay, and then finally, we're just gonna go ahead and make this platform for the crowd up here. One builder staircase is enough here. Okay, and then I release the crowd with a builder. Okay, and then finally, mine through the pillar, and that's it. So, very, very nice level here. Yippee! This one took seven minutes exactly. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so that was another ten levels of the Bedlam Break. So, tune in next time for when we do ten more levels. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Lemmings Lemmings with Gimmicks Levels on the commentary video series, and I'll see you all next time.